Okay, hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a video about what you, you should do at an expo. Um, what I actually personally do is I look up, you can go to Repticon.com if you're going to a Repticon Expo, that's what I did. And you can look at, like, they show you the layout of the building. And then you can do, um, there's, a, there's a section called Vendors. And it shows you all the vendors. And what I did is I was just like looking around, looking at their prices, looking at like their their customer service and their like um, reviews and stuff. And then I I would go there, and I would look on the map that I looked at the Repticon, and I would just follow the map. And what, what most people do is they just walk. Now I wouldn't do. I don't suggest doing that. One because oh these guys are locked up by the way. I'll show you them. There they are. Okay. Um, anyways. So. Um, I wouldn't just walk. Because. Walking. Like you can get lost. Or not lost. But. You can miss some sh sections. And. Actually. Um, so I can talk normal. I'm just going to put them back in. Okay. So. What? Well, I'll just take him out. What I actually do is I just, um, I just take them, I, I just walk each section and make, make sure I'm not missing any, um, and because if you miss some, it's, it's, you can miss either a great deal or you can miss like a cool looking snake that you've never seen before, um, so I suggest you just make sure you have a game plan and all that stuff so um uh also when you're looking to buy something um i suggest you bring around like two hundred dollars like me i didn't bring any money um because i knew i wasn't gonna pick anything up i just like going <sighs> i just like going because i just like being in the um like I just like looking at the stuff and I just like I don't know just like looking and walking around and being in the uh the atmosphere of the reptile industry so I really do like that and <clears throat> if you have like a a bad a bad feeling about somebody please do not buy from them um like try talking to them and you'll know who's a good breeder because they can they'll they'll talk to you they'll tell you like they'll help you out in anything so like bring it maybe something that you need help with and just ask them if they can help you out with it and m most readers won't say no um unless they're really busy but most of the time they're not um so just do that and g and like not gamble but like try getting a lower price um try what i actually do is i actually go like Depends on what it is. Like a normal ball python, you you can probably get like five dollars off. But for like a pastel, you can probably get like twenty. Um, like a pie, you can probably get like fifty. Um, but what I actually do is I actually go like a, a, a little bit more. Like let's say the snake is a hundred, I'll go to seventy, and I because I know he's gonna go probably to eighty five or like eighty, and then. Um, and it's not like super low balling, but it's just like, it's just like getting the thing out there because I know he, I know he can work off of that. Um, but if you just say, I'll take him from 90, he might've wanted to give it to you for 85. Um, and you just wasted $5. Um, so yeah, and make sure like, you know what you're getting and make sure you hold the snake. Make sure, just check him out, make sure he's not sick, because a lot of people go there with sick snakes, and they'll price him a little bit under, and it, it's already a sick snake, and you and you bring it into your collection and get it sick, and it, it just, it's bad. So, and what a reptile expo is like, it's really, it's not, it's not hectic, but it's, it, it's pretty fast paced. Um, it's pretty, like, go, 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 go especially with the animals like if you find an animal and it's marked down and like it's cheaper it's going to be gone by the next time you walk by so i suggest if you if you if you can plug that into your collection or if it if it can help you out in the long run just to get it um but make sure it's healthy make sure it's a rep like a reputable breeder um 
make sure you do some re like what I did I actually did some research on the breeders um, just in case I did find a, a, a nice snake that I couldn't really resist um, so I think he eats mice because he's been off feed for me for about three weeks um, didn't eat anything and I think he's starting to lose some weight so I might have to throw in a, a, a live mouse in there as much as I hate it I'm, I'm probably gonna have to um, I don't like feeding live but ball pythons are really like notorious for being picky so unless he's just off feed but he looks like like right there see how he has like like bumps in his skin it looks like he's like like saggy saggy skin so I think he's starting to lose some weight so but on the scale he still shows up 500 and he was exactly 500 when I got him so um, I can keep on trying, but he probably does eat mice. Uh, the guy said he did eat frozen th thawed, but I didn't ask him what kind, so, yeah. So, those two are actually locked up again. Um, that's the fifth time her locking up. She locked up twice with the pastel and three times with the spider that I traded for the cinnamon and some feeders. Um, ho I was hoping they didn't lock up so then I could try to feed my pastel female again um, because I want I really do want to know if she's off feed because if she is she's she's gonna start to go into ovulation pretty or like within a few months and stuff like that so yeah that sets some good news if if she does because then I'm gonna be looking to get some eggs and um, I might keep up a, a super pastel back if I get one or just a really nice pastel because I'm not gonna lie that male he's a good looking pastel and the females all right um the male's a lot of blushing compared to her but who am I to judge I haven't really seen a, like an amazing quality pastel all right that's the video for today um make sure you just just have fun at reptile exposed don't don't like get down at them for no reason they're, they're fun they're a good experience all right guys see ya